Hey everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. I hope you are well. Uh, all being well, you should be seeing on your screen right now a no-bake sandcastle cheesecake. I get lots of crazy ideas sometimes. And this one, I was like, I don't think this is gonna work. In fact, it's in the fridge right now. I'm gonna do the reveal now, and then I'll show you how I made it, if it works, all right? My thought was that a no-bake cheesecake, the crust is actually very, very strong once it's made. The filling is a little bit soft, because it's not baked, but it should firm up. So last night, I did this. This, my friends, is a standard uh, sandcastle bucket. Uh, living by the sea as I do, I was able to get one of these very, very easily. If it works, this is going back in the fridge and we'll make a second one because, hey, who doesn't like cheesecake? The biscuit base is lined all the way through it. There's basically a wedge of the cheesecake in the middle. And then this morning, I've just put on a new biscuit base just to top it up there to give it a nice level playing field. I didn't line it because I think that the grease in the crumbs will help get it out. And there's only one way to find out if it's going to get out, is by getting it out. Whoosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's a good start, isn't it? I can feel the grease on the bucket though. I'm not sure if that's a good thing. Chopping board. Ugh. So I tried to get the crumbs into all the nooks and crannies there. It's not coming out. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's not dropped at all. Um, the plastic is very, very cold. So I'm thinking as it adjusts to room temperature in here, it's gonna actually sort of loosen up and hopefully separate uh, from, uh, yeah. I can also do the old school tactic of, um, <laughs> I think it's coming out. Oh my gosh. My mum's locked out her house. <laughs> you couldn't believe the tension right now. I've got to go help her go get a house key from somewhere. But it is coming out. <laughs> well, I made a sandcastle. <laughs> The cool thing about living in a seaside town is you're never short of getting hold of a bucket and spade. This is my new bucket, a lot more classic, I hope you'll agree. Uh, some of you guys online suggested lining the other one uh, with wrap, but the markings just don't quite do it. So I've got some other ideas for that, um, possibly a different material. But anyhow, we will crack on and use this. It's basically a budget Nemo. Hello fishy. But what we're actually gonna do, we'll make the filling first, then put it in the fridge to start it chilling, and then make an absolute mountain of crumbs. I've given this bucket a wash, and this is actually almost double the size, the capacity of the other one I did. So I'm gonna have to double up my cheesecake mix, effectively make quite a lot of filling. So in this bowl, first of all, goes 200 grams of icing sugar. We've now got our cream cheese, a lot of cream cheese. Yes, that is a lot of cream cheese and the icing sugar is going everywhere. You don't want to over mix it too much. Good drop of vanilla extract. Or if you're feeling flash, you could use a vanilla pod. Put the seeds in there. Briefly stir that in. And then the double cream. This is very, very naughty. So once we stir this together, that cream will go into the cream cheese. It'll be a thickened mixture. And then we want to get this in the fridge as quick as we can. Oh. Yes, you see how thick that is and smooth? Both really important. We're gonna get it nice and chilled. Now this is a stage if you wanna make a strawberry one, add strawberries in there, a lemon one, a little bit of lemon zest, a little bit of lemon juice. Mwah. We're going for vanilla. All right, just a little tidy up right there. The next thing is to make our edible sand, basically a classic no-bake biscuit base of biscuits, 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 bashed up biscuits with butter. Get yourself a Ziploc bag, or alternatively, you can always use a food processor, and we're gonna bash our biscuits to get super fine crumbs, just like sand. You can even roll it as well. Look, homemade sand. Yeah, we need a lot of sand. 
My butter is in the microwave melting down because that's gonna give it strength. I've actually added about a third more butter than normal just to really make sure it bonds together. Ugh. And we'll need some more biscuit bits at the end for like a sandy look. In goes the melted butter. Oh my gosh, this is so much. It's only because I'm doubling up the mixture though, folks. Uh, so really let that butter absorb into all of these crumbs. We need it to be nice and even and consistent in color. So don't let it all hog down the bottom, work it all around and it should hopefully look like wet, glossy sand if I don't get any more on the floor. <laughs> all right, there we go. So that's all in there, making sure there's no butter hanging at the bottom. Every single piece, every little crumb is coated in the butter. And as you can see, if I squish it like that, it gives it that flatness, that smoothness, that sort of sand building texture that we want. So it's perfect. So now's the fun bit. We bring in our bucket and start to build this castle. So I'm actually using my hands for this step, just making sure that it's really flattened down, okay? Really tap it in there, okay? And then start to push them in. And you see, I'm sort of like tapping it and building up a bit of a wall. Doesn't need to be too thick but it does need to be compact. So you can just spin the bucket around, press it into the base if you want. At the moment it's quite maneuverable, but once that butter firms up, it'll be really hard. However high you go up when you're doing this step, be sure to leave some mix so that you can do the top on here, which would actually obviously be our bottom. Now what I'm doing different to last time, the one I made last night, is I'm gonna do the bottom the same time as this, so it's the same mix, so hopefully it'll bond together and make it stronger as well. It's actually quite strong now already. I am over the moon with that. Look, it's like a little bucket of sand. And although it doesn't look it, this going in the fridge, even for like 10 minutes, what that's been since we made it while we've been doing the biscuits, has really thickened it up already even more and it's getting cold throughout. So fill up your sand castle. I have made way too much cheesecake filling, so uh, there was no need for me to double it up. Good news is for me, it's more cheesecake for friends and family. Yes. And one last thing, we get our crumbs from before, and you need to be careful with this. Don't put it right in the middle of the mixture like that. Use it against the actual crust that we've already done. Let it build strength off of that, okay? So what I mean is, you know, start from the sides and press it in. So now what we've got is strength on the top, linking to the sides and the bottom, all as one encasement of that cheesecake, which we didn't have before. I can actually feel the heat from the melted butter on the outside of this bucket already. So we'll get it in the fridge. It needs to go in there minimum, absolute minimum of four hours. All right, that has been four hours. Uh, I've just checked it in the fridge. It is super firm. That's rock hard. Oh my gosh, did you see that? Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a sandcastle cake. Look at that. Oh my God, it's, oh, it's not the most even at the bottom, but we can work around that. <laughs> yes. Cannot believe that's worked. So I'm just gonna make some more sand. Also got some shells and stuff like that. So let's bring it together. First of all, we'll turn our chopping board into a beach. <laughs> cool. We sit the cheesecake in. A few shells and things. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm not sure if the starfish looks a little bit out of place. It's a bit big, but hey ho. Uh, last thing is my windmill and I've just snapped the end off it because I don't want it to be too big. I'm gonna just stick it in the top there. Oh yes. <laughs> wow. It works. You really gotta keep this in the fridge. I know you want me to slice into it. I will do that now, but once it's straight out of the fridge and you slice into it, it'll be nice and firm and hold its shape. This, cause it's quite warm in here and it's been out for about 10 minutes now, it'll probably sag a bit. But I'm gonna take these things out of the way. Basically leaving the edible thing. Oh. I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe it shrunk down, but that's awesome. I've got this curved dish that I've uh, sort of sat it in <laughs> before it falls apart. 
Oh my word. That is good. That is good. Uh, remember, I just took it out just to show you guys, but if you keep that in the fridge and you're having, say, like a seaside party or something like that, I think it'd work an absolute charm. But there we go, that was something that just came to my mind I wanted to try and share with you guys. I'm really impressed with it, but do like it. And uh, don't forget to let me know down below anything you want to see next. Subscribe for regular videos, and I'll see you again next time.